our top story tonight. The Monroe Police Department is looking for a white man who used racial slur slurs towards a black family while they stopped for gas. That family is now speaking only to NBC 10's Chelsea Jones, and they say if other people of non-color don't speak up and demand change, incidents like this will keep happening. He was in this, in that. I put ends in the ground. That sparked the video you see here. 17 year old Major Holman trying to defend his mother after the man you see in this video said this In B, I'll put you in the ground. I just lost all rationality. The Holmans just stopped to get gas when Major was confronted by a white man spouting racial slurs. And for somebody to see his skin color and hate him just for being black hurts. Major says he was ready to fight. It's very um, hard uh, to keep emotions, uh, keep a lid on emotions. We understand that. It's a young white man and his wife. He opened his door and he got out and said, ma'am, get in your car, leave. I seen it. He said, if he touch you, I'm going to lay him down. So taking matters into your own hands and trying to get immediate justice um, is just not the proper way to, to handle incidents like that. But a range of emotions still run deep. A racist white man came at me. And a humble white man was ready to die for me. I didn't want my son to be the next cause. I'm sorry. I know that's probably the most selfish thing to say. I didn't want to have the rest in peace. I didn't want to have apologies and letters and things sent to me. Even though I'm alive, I hope it just wake people up. Police are investigating. When hate is involved or race is involved, um, this is something that we take extremely serious. Yolanda believes things like this won't stop until people of all races use their voices. If you don't tell the world how important it is that black lives do matter, then it's not going to get better, it's going to get worse. Mama told me that he had a gun. I just burst into tears because if it was me and my friends, we would all die. In Monroe, Chelsea Jones, NBC 10, your local news leader. Because a physical attack did not happen, the Monroe Police Department is not investigating this as a hate crime. However, they are looking to bring charges for disturbing the peace, threats, and simple assault. They are still investigating and, of course, will provide updates as they become available.